I can't get around these troops fast enough. T try rotating the mouse. I, I can't. Wait, try again. All right, here it goes. Ah! 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 I can't rotate the mouse. Ah! Introducing the new Lexip 3D mouse. A mouse that can actually rotate on its shell. Also includes two joysticks, one including the shell joystick and also the thumb joystick on the side of the mouse. Rubberized controls on the side helps you keep this mouse under control. No more. Gone are the days of having a frustrating basic mouse. You're better than that. You are a prince of gaming. Hey, why don't you try this new Lexit Mouse 3D? Give it a shot. Thank you so much. I'll try it out. Thank you. Yes. Go ahead. Go on and open it. It opens with ease. Can pop this open? Keep opening. God, who is talking right now? Alright. So, don't see any tape on this. Just gonna pop it open like this. There you go. Easy peasy. My, my cat's coming over here to talk to me. So here is the mouse. Don't mind me, I'm just narrating, okay? Just talking right now. Get used to it. So this is what we'll be using today. I like it. Yes. Lexip. That's right, Lexip. Any artist on the computer, any artist at all, can now have better ease at creating their online art portfolios. Every artist can use this 3D mouse. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm not an artist. Go chase the mouse. Not just artists, Look. but even cats can enjoy this Yay. mouse. That's right, it's a true mouse. Oh, I can't get around these trips, we're kind of going kind of fast. Try rotating your mouse. You ready for this? Keep going. Rotate that mouse. Rotate it on its shell. Keep going now. Keep rotating. Keep rotating. Rotate. Rotate it. Hey guys, Alex Khan here, the Prince of Mastodon. And I just had a whole gaming session with this uh, Lexit mouse. And I gotta say, it's pretty freaking awesome. Now, typically I use really basic mouse for my, for my gaming needs, which I usually just play Total War. Uh, but since these guys sent me this mouse, I actually got to try a state-of-the-art mouse. And I was very, uh, very blown away by it. Now let me show you what this mouse looks like. It freaking rotates right here. It's got a joystick and all these extra features. Now um, this mouse is coated with rubber here on the sides, so it it really sticks to your fingers when you're when you're gaming. Now uh, this mouse has two joysticks. One isn't very obvious, but the first one is pretty obvious. So when you're holding your mouse, you got this joystick right here for your thumb. So if you're playing a game like Minecraft, that comes in handy. So you don't have to stop and use your keyboard. You can just Use your mouse, and then out of nowhere, just use your thumb to activate the inventory. The other uh, joystick is the whole mouse itself. If you look, you can actually bounce it up and down and actually rotate it like that. I don't know if you can see that. Now, uh, when I was talking about, you know, in the video, when I was talking about, uh, you know, rotating the mouse, I was kind of joking around with that because for Total War, that doesn't really do anything. But for other games like Minecraft or for 3D, you know, artistry, it totally means a lot. But I didn't really need that feature for Total War. But the mouse itself is very, it's a very excellent fit because I can customize this mouse, as I said, to do uh, things that I might want to do, like you know, control the the camera on that instead of using the keyboard. Um, as I said, there's two clickers here on the side, uh, two joysticks here. You got the scroll lock here, and you got the uh, the Lexa button. Now, what I really like about this mouse, aside from the feel, is when you're actually gliding your mouse over the mouse pad, it feels like you're, you're flying right over it. it. I don't feel the mouse pad at all. Whereas with most other mouse pads, it feels like you're scraping, feel like you're scraping the mouse pad. But this one is, I don't know how they did it, but you can see for yourself, it's laser censored and you get these six little uh, grooves here, which makes it feel like it's not even touching the mouse mouse pad, so it's, it's pretty awesome. As I said, this mouse did start off as a, a 3D artist mouse, but it was uh, since then uh, moved into gaming. So professional gamers use it, amateur gamers use it. Now this mouse, uh, the makers of this mouse, they do have a, uh, a Kickstarter program, so you can help uh, fund this 
you know, this kind of technology. So you can help fund, you know, future development for this mouse and also fund future projects for, for Lexit. And I'm going to put the link in the description. And you might not think it's important, but it really is. Because you, you can say that you took part in, in funding, you know, great, great products like this. And I'm actually going to donate like maybe like $5 to it myself. Uh, it only has a few more days, maybe weeks for the Kickstarter program. And uh, yeah, I'm going to help contribute if I can say that I helped contribute to this mouse. Now, after gaming with us for Total War, as I said, you know, the, the extra joysticks didn't really do anything for Total War. But for other games, it totally could do something for Total War or for, for other games. Sorry. Now, I want to say this mouse does fit really well. I'm probably going to use this mouse from now on for Total War because uh, I like the feel of it. And I like the fact that I can glide here, which helped with the, the micro. So yeah, uh, do I like this mouse? Yes, it's, it's a very nice fit for the Prince of Macedon. So overall, it is fit for a prince. And I hope you guys try it out too. And once again, check the video description for the, uh, the Kickstarter program. Thank you guys for watching. And thank you, Lexit, for letting, letting me try this product out.